which is the one by the Lowndes Community Wide Initiative. Ms. Dukes. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chairman. The county leadership has worked with the One Valosta Leon Steering Committee over the past several years to develop a community-wide initiative that will address local challenges with a focus on workforce development. And many times whenever citizens come forward um, to the city or the county or to both with something that they would like to be addressed uh, community-wide, Often those services can be something that the county or that local governments can't provide directly. So this is an opportunity to really work with the private sector. Um, there's a tremendous amount of funding for some of these projects to be had there um, under the leadership of the chamber um, to move this initiative forward. I think it's important to know that as we have discussed, this is a five-year initiative with a sunset. So this is not something that would run into perpetuity from a funding standpoint. It's something that at the end of that five years um, would would be over and our community will be better for it or the steering committee and the local governments can evaluate where we are in the process and make a decision from there. Commissioners, as y'all know, we've had um, a little with Scott Purvis and Dr. Carver Hall so it does a lot of that presented that to us and I think if, if, I'm, if I'm correct, everyone's had the opportunity to talk to the leadership of this initiative um, and if you have not, I mean Encourage you to reach out to one of those, or or Miss Dukes or Miss Lover, and get you on the phone with leaders of that initiative. And it's my understanding that both Mr. Purvis and Dr. Carvajal will be here tomorrow evening. Okay. And so it's two. It's two hundred. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was going to ask. Okay. All right. If there are no other questions. Um, 